Hello everyone and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Today we're going to be continuing with the Nations Cup. I covered the first two rounds a while ago. The Nations Cup itself wrapped up a couple of weeks ago and uh, we'll be covering everything that happened in rounds uh, 3, 4, 5 and 6 um, throughout this video. So uh, we're starting off with round 3, a variety of production cars we could choose from. Uh, to race at uh, Trial Mountain and uh, it was a terrible race we finished P9 and pretty much nothing happened so <laughs> yeah we're not going to be wasting any time uh, on this one uh, we're just going to move swiftly on uh, to round four round four we drove the Porsche living legend uh, 917 living legend at uh, Autodromo Lago Maggiore and uh, that race was equally as terrible and uh, I could literally only manage last place in that race. I absolutely very much didn't like uh, the uh, Porsche 917 uh, Living Legend. More like a living pain. But anyway, uh, yeah, did not enjoy driving this car. Couldn't control it. Crashed in qualifying. It just was not a fun time. So again, we're going to move swiftly on to the next round where hopefully we'll actually have something to talk about. It was Group 1 cars at Daytona. And uh, my first attempt, I drove the Bugatti Chiron, which uh, is very good in the corners, but not so good on the straights. And at Daytona, that's not really the combination you want. So I decided to uh, go again and uh, drive the Mazda LM55 instead. And uh, it uh, immediately became apparent that it also was just not going to cut it. And uh, we finished P9 in uh, both of those races. So, I decided to give it one more go in the Mazda 787B, which was clearly the fastest car. And uh, as you can see, uh, made the move to get out of last place right at the last minute. But I thought, you know what, this guy has uh, done the entire race in a car that shouldn't be driven in, uh, in this. So I gave the spot back. I thought uh, they deserved it far more than I did. And uh, yeah, that round was just a complete mess. And uh, once again, no reasonable result recorded. So, as you can see, Nations Cup has been a bit of a struggle, but uh, we get to round six, the final round, and uh, we are at Spa this time in the Red Bull X 2019 uh, competitions, uh, slash uh, 2019, uh, 25th anniversary edition. Same car, just uh, different liveries. And uh, this is a combination we've done before, so... Hopefully, uh, things can go well for us here. Um, I'm struggling to remember how things went last time. But, uh, yeah, after three consecutive bad rounds, five races in total, where we've had very much lackluster finishing positions, we've lost a lot of uh, our driver rating, uh, which means hopefully we'll be up against slower opponents. And... Uh, if this is a combination that might suit me a little bit better than the previous ones, that might mean we can uh, be competitive once more. But uh, yeah, these last few rounds have been very, very tough. I decided to uh, go out for the uh, warm-up session, uh, even though there's probably only a couple of seconds uh, left of it as we're just uh, looking through the rules. Uh, I actually had no clue what I was getting myself into. I didn't do hardly any practice uh, for, uh, for this. Um, but uh, anyway, we'll find out. Uh, unfortunately, with all of these rounds, we could not put our own liveries on the cars uh, like we could for the first couple of rounds. Um, we were just given uh, a choice of cars to use. So in, the, in this entire field, there's only going to be the two liveries of the base uh, Red Bull X 2019 competition and the 25th anniversary edition, which is uh, the one I've chosen. But uh, like I said, exactly the same car, exactly the same uh, stats, just different liveries. So here we go then, uh, out onto circuit for qualifying. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, stick a lap together. Um, lap times are just under the two minute mark. So that is uh, kind of what we are aiming for with this absolutely insane piece of machinery uh, that absolutely screams and I'm probably actually going to have to turn the volume down even more than I usually have to uh, because uh, that is currently very loud in my ears. Anyway, uh, we binned it on our outlap, so that's brilliant. 
thankfully, um, oh goodness me, we are having an absolute world of trouble trying to get this thing pointed in the right direction again. But uh, thankfully, uh, only light damage uh, here, so uh, we don't have to go and uh, reset ourselves in the pit lane like we did uh, back uh, at Le Mans in Trans Am, where we have the heavy damage setting over in that series. Um, but yeah, thankfully, light damage here. Uh, I knew there was a car on the inside, so I just left it out off in the runoff and then got the reset. Uh, so that was a little bit of a bit of a thing. Had a bit of trouble uh, getting uh, moving again. This car has a lot of uh, low speed wheel spin, uh, despite having the uh, racing soft tires. Uh, it does struggle for grip uh, in traction zones. Uh, it's uh, it's a really fun car to drive once you get used to it, but. Uh, it's so quick, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit crazy. But anyway, um, we're, uh, we've moved straight on to the second lap in qualifying because the first lap just wasn't really the one. So hopefully things can go a bit better on lap number two. We made a bit of a mess of uh, Rouge and Radion and uh, even the first corner wasn't great. So uh, we're going to need to do something special throughout the rest of the lap if we want to uh, pull a, a good time out of this session. So... Uh, right now we're down in P9. Uh, we were one of the last to uh, cross the line. Uh, so, you know, wherever we uh, finish this lap will be uh, more or less where we are, I think. But uh, getting through that uh, first half of the middle sector pretty nicely. As we're around the halfway mark in the lap now. This is a corner I've really been struggling with and we uh, just about keep it on the road there. But uh, Poo on there is... Uh, it, it's very easy to just miss the turning point and run the car out very wide and I'm not the only one who's been doing that um, throughout uh, this session and throughout the race itself uh, it'll become apparent for uh, quite a few people but uh, anyway as we uh, continue on head through Stavolo and uh, there's another corner where I've just been struggling with a little bit of understeer and uh, probably just turning in a, a touch too late and uh, once you do that there's not really any way to uh, to recover you've already lost the, the meters on the inside but anyway uh, we're coming up to uh, the bus stop now nice and late on the brakes probably could have gone even later but uh, we're going to try and cruise through this one as we came nicely on the power thankfully that guy was ghosted as we come through and we go P3 with that lap goodness me 1.4 seconds off the pole sitter so they were very very quick but uh, that's what you can kind of expect with uh, with these Red Bull cars is uh, probably a pretty big skill gap because they are so quick um, it doesn't take much to lose uh, a lot of time so yeah it's going to be interesting to see how the race plays out but uh, yeah that was pretty cool um, I was not expecting to, to qualify uh, quite so high on the grid but uh, where does that leave the expectations uh, for the race? I really don't know. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. There's the uh, the points available uh, for this one. We can get ten points if we finish in uh, the top six. Um, so maybe that will be the target. Try and get uh, into the double digits. I tend to fare better in qualifying than races. I feel like it depends what everyone else's consistency is like as long as uh, as well as my own so you know hopefully uh, we can uh, hopefully we can keep it together and not make too many mistakes it's going to be a long race I think it's 22 laps so yeah got a uh, got a mission ahead uh, here at Spa but uh, it's going to be fun so uh, without further ado uh, let's just get into it the final round of the 2024 Nations Cup here at Spa in the Red Bull X 2019s. Well, there we have it. World Series 2024 Online Qualifiers Final Nations Cup Round 6 at Circuit de Spa Francorchamps.
Alrighty then, so here we all are on the grid, ready to go racing. Look at that cheeky guy in third place, flashing the headlights there. Let's have a little run through the starting grid for this one. On pole position we have Pops. Starting out of P2 we have Monkey Jocks. Okay, in third position we have myself. And starting out of P4 we have R. Williams. And in fifth position, Denz. Starting out of P6 we have Obi-Wan. And starting in seventh position we have Roger Dodger, 400. And out of eighth position we have Snap Triple Eight. Starting out of P9 we have Mike Honcho, name we are familiar with by now. Then Hologram 01 starts out of P10. Then it's Paul Panther in P11. Racing Kelpie, a 62, in uh, 12th position. Nemesis, 1980, starts out of 13th position. Then Chill starts out of P14. So that's how we all line up at the start of this one. Let's see if we can bring home a good result here. We're underway for the race at Spa, and immediately a lot of wheels spin off the start. Thankfully we go Ghost, otherwise we could have taken out one or two cars on our way through there. But uh, that's dumped a whole bunch of time for us off the start, and big slide on the exit as well. We almost made up for it at turn one as a lot of people went deep, but a big slide on the exit cost us a bit of time. And uh, now we're down into seventh position, so we've dropped four places off the starters. Uh, wow, they are absolutely zooming through, and uh, uh, thankfully ghosting taking care of that. Otherwise, we would have got rear-ended extremely hard. Uh, in that moment, but uh, we're going to gain a couple of spots here along the Camel Straight down the inside. Oh, that's a Punterino there, and uh, now they're going to have to take the shortcut. They rejoin, and uh, they get away with it, luckily for them. But uh, yeah, that was uh, uh, always uh, always scary when you end up off the road there. I think it happened to me as well uh, at that point. Uh, last time we did this combination of the Red Bull cars uh, at uh, at Spa, but uh, anyway. We're through and uh, we're up into P7, back down into P7 actually because uh, they're driving through us. There's a lot of ghosting happening on this first lap as we both run wide uh, at Puon. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty scrappy race so far and uh, they've got a penalty so we're going to be able to uh, potentially... Uh, oh, bit of contact there and oh, we're ping-ponging between and turned them both off the road. That was awkward, but uh, that's given us the positions up into the top five now. Uh, so we've got a car on the inside trying to give them space, but we're already on, on an awkward line there to get through. We're down into P6. What a confusing first lap this has been. And uh, yeah, at the moment we've found ourselves in an okay position. Like I said, top six gets us 10 points. Um, so uh, if we can hold on to that, that would be uh, that would be nice. But uh, there's a long, long way to go in this one. I can't pick at the moment who has pace and who doesn't because uh, everyone's been a bit all over the place. But uh, we've survived the first lap uh, relatively unscathed. It was messy but uh, we're still pointing in the right direction and we never lost too much time in any one incident as we go a bit wide there and uh, that's actually going to help us gain a position as uh, someone else was uh, having a moment so uh, the uh, the scrappiness continues uh, in this race as uh, we get uh, Oruj and Radion a little bit wrong there and uh, now we might have to be on the defensive as we head up uh, towards uh, Lecom we seem to have enough straight line speed so I think we're going to be okay on the brakes and uh, oh, a bit deep in the end but uh, we'll hold on to the position but uh, yeah this is uh, going to be a race of minimizing mistakes I can already tell uh, that uh, that's going to be a big dive down the inside there it's going to be important as uh, we are still inside of uh, the other car there but thankfully uh, we managed to resolve things and that might be a penalty for the shortcut there and uh, it is so that's uh, a little unfortunate but uh, only half a second it might not be the worst as we finally keep it on the road uh, through Puon on that lap but uh, those such occurrences will be uh, will be few and far between so uh, anyways we continue on uh, we'll see if we can uh, start to move ourselves forward in this race as we've sort of settled into a rhythm there, the free position as uh, I think that was Obi-Wan went for uh, a bit of a spin there, so unfortunate for them, but uh, anyway, as we understeer our way through the first corner um, we are uh, starting to uh, to get into the rhythm, like I said I really didn't do much practice 
uh, for this round or for any of the rounds. And I'm not taking this Nations Cup thing too seriously. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see how uh, the race progresses as we continue to uh, to said, Whoa, goodness me, that is a, a launch and a half there. We'll stumble back onto the track. That'll cost us a position though. And uh, oh, we've spun again. And we just about get it turned around. Uh, with some light contact with the barrier there, but that's dropped us now down into 8th position uh, with a kind of double mistake there. Just hit that inside bollard and it just launched the car uh, quite high. And uh, yeah, that was uh, very frustrating. Oh, car off from the inside there, that gives us P7 back. But uh, yeah, that's uh, a lot of time we now have to uh, make up on track. So We'll continue to race on and see if we can do it, but uh, it's going to prove tough from here, I think, as uh, so we go out wide at the final corner. But uh, with the car in the pits, that'll move us up into sixth position. As oh, we've gone very deep into the first corner, could not get a turn, and we still can't get it turned out to the barrier there. But uh, as we come along, and uh, we will briefly lose P6, we'll get it back though, and uh, yeah, move ourselves back up, but. Uh, you know, with pit stops uh, starting to play out in the early phase of this race, it's going to be a little bit hard to tell for a while uh, where we really uh, stack up in this one. But uh, we'll see how it goes as we continue to race on. Going to see if we can make the move to the outside. Just enough room left for us there by uh, racing Kelpie. But uh, we can't quite get the move done. We'll just have to stay in behind for a little bit longer. Um, whenever I see a name like that, uh, you know, I, I recognize and have seen before, I always uh, try and set the set them as a target to beat. I know uh, I've seen Obi-Wan uh, back at uh, Fuji Speedway when we were driving the Mazda 3s in uh, a Nations Cup race a while ago in a quite similar pace uh, back then, if I recall correctly. So, uh, you know, seeing uh, Obi-Wan up the road, I really want to uh, to get to them. But uh, anyway, as we continue to uh, race on, we'll get the move done in a straight line on uh, Racing Kelpie up into the top five now. But uh, we're on the soft tyres and it's hard to know what everyone else is doing. Oh, that's a terrible mistake there. Just drifted too far to the left, uh, trying to set up for Malmody. And uh, somehow we didn't lose a position out of that. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, I imagine Kelpie lost a lot of time there as well. Uh, so we now head through Ravage, having a bit of a struggle through there. And uh, there we finally uh, drop in behind, although uh, we actually uh, drop behind Roger Dodger. So, uh, yeah, down into P6 once more as we again have a bit of a struggle through uh, through Puan. But uh, we'll just about hold on to the position as Kelpie is trying to, uh, to get back past. But uh, for now we should be okay. We just need to get back into the rhythm and uh, try and uh, stop these mistakes from creeping in. Rear tyres are really starting to struggle. I've moved the brake bias all the way forwards. Don't know if that's actually helping me or not, but it uh, makes me feel like I'm doing something. So anyway, as we <laughs> continue on, uh, got a bad run out of uh, Stavolo, and uh, now Kelpie's gonna try and get this move done all the way around the outside of Blanchimon here, and can't quite do it. We both lifted to give each other some room. And uh, that was a good effort to get through there uh, side by side. Didn't quite see where exactly they were. As Dodger makes a mistake, we're flying down the inside. Can't get us stopped. And uh, we're going to have to drop in behind once more. But uh, just got a little bit excited at the prospect there. As uh, we slot in behind once more. Almost contact there. Maybe a slight touch. But no harm done as we continue to race on. Continue to hold down P6 uh, in this race. But this is a tense little battle now as uh, we're all making mistakes, things are heating up and uh, yeah, it's gonna get some very, very spicy as uh, we continue to battle on. But uh, we're approaching the end of the uh, soft tire stint. Uh, the rear tires have absolutely had enough uh, at this point as we uh, reach the end of lap number eight. We're gonna go one more lap and oh, big slide, bigger slide for us and a full 360 spin. In fact, we're gonna make it a 720 for good measure. And that's another whole heap of time lost. Saw Roger Dodger go for the slide, got excited, put the power down and did exactly the same thing, but signs about eight. And uh, yeah, that was not good. So yeah, that's dropped a whole bunch of time for us. And uh, another sort of unnecessary mistake. Just got too eager seeing them make a mistake. 
But anyway, we continue on. We managed to make it back to pit lane at the end of the soft tire stint. Uh, the strategy was actually uh, that I'm taking is uh, someone put the ideal strategy in the uh, the Trans Am chat, and uh, I just decided to uh, to go with it because I don't know any better. So uh, it was nine laps on softs, one lap on hards, and the rest on mediums. So that's the strategy I'm sticking to, and uh, we'll see if it works. Uh, I think I was a little aggressive on the rear tyres throughout that stint, getting a bit of wheel spin as we have to do a full refill of the fuel tank. And uh, fuel actually might be marginal. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get racing again now on the hard compound tyres, only doing one lap. So very much like uh, a Trans Am race, really, uh, how uh, we only use the hards for a lap, albeit we're on the racing compound of tyres. Uh, here in, with the Red Bull cars. I'd hate to know what these feel like on, on sports tyres. That would be something else. Uh, but anyway, um, so we're in uh, ninth position now. We still have one more stop to make. Hard to know what everyone else is doing strategy-wise. Uh, I haven't really been keeping track. So uh, anyway, we'll eventually bring it around into pit lane once more. It was a pretty uh, troubled lap on the hards. Um, well, I didn't drive particularly well, um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes on um, the mediums. They should be a, a bit more of a comfortable uh, compound to use uh, for the rest of the race, and we can just about get the fuel in to, to finish the race. So this strategy really is just about perfect uh, in terms of uh, you know using up the full extent of the soft tires, minimizing the hard tires, and then... Uh, getting that full stint to the end on fuel on the mediums so uh, yeah that's uh, definitely uh, was uh, was the right call but we'll see if uh, that uh, turns into a good result for us uh, I have no clue what position we're ultimately fighting for I know for a fact that uh, basically everyone else will need to stop again where that leaves us at the end of the race it's hard to know because we're quite a way behind the race leader Get a free position there though, up into P11, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, we can just keep this going. We just need to cruise to the end, make no mistakes, keep the speed up, and uh, hope that uh, hope that nothing goes wrong. No more spins is the big thing. But I'm um, getting into a pretty good rhythm now, so I'm not too concerned about that. But uh, anyway, as we uh, continue to race on, uh, car in pit lane and uh, we remain in P11 couldn't quite uh, get past them so that's what I mean like uh, just because cars are making pit stops doesn't mean we're gonna uh, make the move oh purple first sector as uh, a car off and that's gonna give us another position up into the top 10 now but uh, purple first sector on medium tires uh, thank you very much I'll take that um, not going to translate to a purple lap time unfortunately, don't have the consistency around the rest of the circuit to, to put the lap together, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I did that quite a few times actually in this final stint, getting purple first sectors uh, on the mediums, so I mean, Eau Rouge and Radion are flat out anyway, so it's really only one corner um, but uh, yeah that was uh, always encouraging that we could get through the first sector faster than anyone else uh, on a circuit and see if that can pay dividends for us at some point uh, later in this race but uh, anyway uh, with uh, pit stops playing out and a few others making mistakes uh, we're up into uh, now seventh position uh, we'll see if uh, that remains because sometimes uh, as you're going past pit lane that can be a little bit deceiving bit of a, a wide moment there and uh, we're going to go straight uh, through them there straight through Obi-Wan who I said it'd be nice if we could uh, beat Obi-Wan in this race well we've just made the overtake and gotten through and up into uh, P6 now in this race so uh, we're fighting for that difference between 9 and 10 points uh, at the moment and uh, we'll see how uh, the battle plays out uh, as we continue on then, uh, we've managed to stretch the margin out to Obi-Wan to six seconds, but wide there, and a full 360 spin, and we keep it going somehow. We've got a penalty for uh, a little shortcut a while ago, so that's going to cost us even more time. So uh, that will help Obi-Wan catch back up to us as we are approaching uh, the end of this race now. Just a couple of laps to go to serve the penalty. And uh, we look back to see if Obi-Wan is closing in. Thankfully, we still have a bit of a margin. 
but there's not much time left in this race. And we've just lost a whole chunk of that precious time. We uh, were working so hard to gain over Obi-Wan. The pace difference between us isn't that much. And it's these little mistakes that are really making the difference. We're so lucky to get away with that spin. Uh, we could have lost so much more time uh, having a moment like that. But uh, thankfully, uh, we were okay on that occasion. So uh, as we continue on, on to uh, the end of the penultimate lap, we're about to start the final lap. Obi-Wan has dropped back just slightly, but is still well in the fight, so we need to make sure we don't make any mistakes. It's probably best to take this carefully, but uh, I think Obi-Wan has uh, unlocked a little bit of extra pace uh, towards the end of this one. I'm starting to lose pace and lose confidence in the car. Uh, the rear tire is starting to fall away, even on the medium, just not as bad as that last lap we did on the softs, where I had to be so careful uh, after that uh, double spin. But uh, yeah, it's still not feeling good uh, at the moment on the mediums. So if we can just have a clean end to the race and hold on to P6, uh, that would be uh, absolutely awesome. Still a purple first sector despite that. And you saw the mistake we made uh, down at the first corner. So uh, yeah, weird that uh, we can continue uh, to do those purple first sectors uh, despite that little mistake. Um, it, uh, at La Source must be what we're doing through Erosion Radion, I suppose, because there's nothing else to it. But uh, we're a little bit too slow uh, through uh, well, both of those corners, through Ravage and No Name, and uh, that has uh, cost us some time uh, because we just sort of got a little bit caught up on the inside, and then you can't really put the power down wide at Pool One as well. And all of this is costing more and more time uh, to Obi Wan, and they are absolutely hacking into that margin. Uh, the, the already diminished margin that we had and uh, now with uh, just over a sector to go uh, we do actually have to start worrying and uh, make sure we don't make any more mistakes a lot of understeer there uh, through Stavolo and uh, we try and get it to the apex we still can't quite do it and with a bad exit uh, that is going to set us up uh, for a bad run all the way to the bus stop so hopefully we'll have enough uh, speed to hang on to it, but Obi-Wan is continuing to close the light of the slipstream as well, and they're just a couple of tenths behind us as we head now into the bus stop, and then Obi-Wan goes for the big uh, late-breaking move, but uh, ultimately will not have the chance to get through. We'll manage to hold on to P6 at the end of this one, and uh, oh, P5, Roger Dodger, Roger Dodgy didn't do the pit stops, and uh, Got a one minute penalty. That promotes us up into P5. No extra points for that position, but it gives Obi-Wan an extra point. So in a way, we kind of both win in the end uh, in that little battle. Uh, we'll both get 10 points uh, out of this race. Not that I'm particularly concerned about points, but uh, it's always nice to have a, a target in mind. But uh, wow, there you go. Roger Dodger. I'm guessing probably skipped the hard tire stint. Maybe just did softs and mediums. Could have even gone double softs, who knows, but uh, whatever the case is, uh, incorrect strategy and uh, the one minute penalty uh, drops them well down the order. Top five, goodness me. <laughs> to be honest, I actually in the moment had no idea Obi-Wan was catching up so much until uh, till I heard the, uh, the engine screaming down the inside uh, at the final uh, uh, chicane, but uh, anyway. That was close. That was that was good. It was good to, to finally, at the end of the Nations Cup, get a, a good result on the board after uh, struggling for three rounds. Uh, I'm very, very happy with, uh, with that. But anyway, that is going to do it for this one. So I will say thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Um, you may have noticed there were no replays throughout this video. I did save the replay, but I actually deleted it before I had the chance to record uh, any replays for this video. I deleted it because uh, we had the Trans Am Le Mans race coming up, uh, which you would have already seen. And uh, that was obviously a very big race, so I deleted a, a bunch of replays to make sure I had space to, uh, to save that one. So that's how that happened. But uh, anyway, in summary, it was an alright season of Nations Cup. Got the win uh, to kick things off. And it was all downhill from there. Got a, I think it was around, around about P5 or so at uh, Watkins Glen. I can't remember. In the Honda RA 272s. That was a fun race. Uh, wherever we got in that one. Then it was three terrible rounds. 
after that and finally another decent result here to finish things off so a very mixed season but uh, anyway that is uh, going to do it for this one so thank you so much for watching all the way to the end i really do appreciate it uh, please feel free to give me some feedback in the comments it's always very helpful and other than that i will see you in the next one and goodbye